On April 13, 2029, the Apophis asteroid will pass just 32,000 kilometers from Earth, closer than many satellites. While no collision is expected, this rare flyby offers a unique opportunity to study the asteroid and its interaction with Earth's gravity, which is vital for future planetary defense. However, NASA's OSIRIS APEX mission, designed to track and study Apophis, is at risk of being canceled due to budget cuts, losing this mission would mean missing out on crucial data to help protect Earth from potential asteroid threats. Apophis, discovered in 2004, is a near-Earth asteroid that spans about 370 meters across. While it's not large enough to pose a global threat, its size is significant enough to cause regional devastation if it were to impact Earth. The 2029 flyby, however, will present no risk of collision. Instead, Apophis will pass within 32,000 kilometers of Earth, closer than many geostationary satellites orbiting our planet, making this one of the closest asteroid flybys in recorded history. This flyby is important for several reasons. First, Apophis will provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study an asteroid up close, as the gravitational forces of Earth will affect it in ways that have never been observed. As it passes through our planet's gravitational field, Apophis will stretch and change its trajectory, offering a chance to learn more about its internal structure. Is it a solid body, or is it a loose pile of rubble? Understanding how it reacts to Earth's gravity will reveal crucial details about its composition and help determine whether similar asteroids could pose a threat in the future. The flyby of Apophis also offers insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system. Apophis is composed of ordinary chondrite material, which is one of the most common types of asteroids found in the solar system. This composition is a key target for scientists studying the early solar system and the building blocks that led to the formation of planets and other celestial bodies. By analyzing Apophis's surface and structure, scientists can gain valuable data on the conditions present in the early solar system, furthering our understanding of how our planetary system came to be. NASA's OSIRIS APEX mission, a continuation of the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, was specifically repurposed to study Apophis during its 2029 flyby. OSIRIS-REx, which successfully studied the Bennu asteroid, was originally tasked with collecting samples from Bennu. Once that mission concluded, NASA decided to extend the spacecraft's life by redirecting it to Apophis to gather detailed data during the flyby. The OSIRIS APEX mission was set to track Apophis's surface and study the effects of Earth's gravitational forces on the asteroid. By analyzing changes in the asteroid's surface and structure, the mission was expected to provide valuable information about its chemical composition, internal structure, and response to external forces. This data would help scientists understand how similar asteroids might behave in the future, especially if they were to pose a threat to Earth. However, this mission is now at risk of being canceled. The Trump administration's fiscal year 2026 budget proposal includes cuts to the OSIRIS APEX mission, potentially halting its planned observations of Apophis. Despite operating costs of only $14.5 million annually, less than one thousandth of NASA's overall budget, the cancellation would waste years of investment and resources that have already been allocated to studying this asteroid. The cancellation of the mission would also mean that we would lose the opportunity to gather crucial data about Apophis, which could help improve planetary defense capabilities. The potential cancellation of OSIRIS APEX highlights the lack of funding for planetary defense, compared to other NASA projects. While missions like OSIRIS-REx and DART have advanced asteroid research, more resources are needed to develop technologies to protect Earth from future asteroid threats. Though NASA's OSIRIS APEX mission faces uncertainty, the study of Apophis is also a priority for other space agencies. The European Space Agency, ESA, has proposed the RAMSES mission, which aims to rendezvous with Apophis and study it before and after its flyby. 
The Rams's mission will gather data on the asteroid's surface, shape, rotation, and internal structure, complementing NASA's planned observations. However, ESA's decision to proceed with Ramses depends on securing funding at the 2025 Ministerial Council meeting, and the mission must be launched by 2028 to be ready for the 2029 flyby. Japan Space Agency, JAXA, is also planning a flyby of Apophis with its Destiny Plus mission. While the primary focus of Destiny Plus is another asteroid, its flyby of Apophis will provide additional data, albeit less detailed than that from Osiris Apex or Ramses. Despite the limited scope of Destiny Plus about Apophis, the mission will still provide valuable insights. In addition to these international efforts, private companies are beginning to show interest in funding asteroid research. Some industry officials have suggested that a private reconnaissance mission to Apophis could be developed for under $250 million. This would offer an alternative means of gathering crucial data, but there is limited time to secure the necessary funding and develop the required technology. Global collaboration is key to ensuring Apophis is studied in detail. While NASA's budget issues threaten OSIRIS APEX, agencies like ESA, JAXA, and private companies could play a crucial role. Understanding Apophis's behavior, composition, and structure is vital for developing effective planetary defense strategies. In the face of future asteroid threats, the right data could be the difference between mitigation and catastrophe. The 2029 Apophis flyby presents a unique opportunity to enhance our understanding of asteroids. While NASA's OSIRIS Apex mission is at risk, global efforts are underway through missions like ESA's Ramses and Japan's Destiny Plus. Time is running out, and securing international collaboration and funding is crucial. The data from these missions could be vital for developing planetary defense strategies making it essential to prioritize asteroid research and ensure these missions proceed.